or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or messages. Come in, come on. I've got intel. Recon is afoot. Yes, bestie. You invite the wrong people into your domicile or hemisphere. You will come up missing many things. Like what? Your joy, your happiness, your skrilla.com. Your edges, blood. Your edges, your hairline. It's so important. Especially when you're trying to put the past behind you like a ponytail, darling dears. I know. I know you thought I weren't coming today, but I was very busy, darling. As I told you, I'm the CEO of Minding My Own Business, and I had a lot of business to mind. Mm-hmm. Did you see the video, guys, of um, Princess Kate? She came out and basically told us to go and suck our mothers, right? Well, that's what she didn't use those words, but it meant that's what it meant. And she said she's got, she's got the big C, darling, dears. What I didn't understand about that, because... I'm not going to argue with someone that, that says they've got the big C. That's very serious, darling, especially when you've got a young family. Even if you're a single person, anybody that's got it would be scared. What I didn't, I didn't understand is, is that the video, it looked like, to me, it looked like her arm, um, AI. Her hair wasn't moving. Um, she was wearing a jumper from seven years ago. Blood. You think if I had the royal... The Royal Family Skrilla dot com at my beck and call that I'd be wearing a one all jump I may find at the back of my wardrobe from seven years ago, but I had time to get the hairdressers to come through. You must be joking, blood bra or see stream. And she, I know she didn't explain the Mother's Day picture. She didn't explain the farm trip, right? She didn't even. She didn't. Where was her man? Where was William? Where was he? He wasn't there. Listen, if I'm coming forward to tell you I've got the big C and I've got a partner, he needs to be there rubbing my shoulders, blood. He needs to be there, right? Ensuring that he gives me some of his energy, blood. Listen, I told you, the, the, the royal family always covers up around a, a lunar or solar eclipse, darling, this. Charles mar married um, Diana around the solar eclipse. Diana was, was brown-breaded in, in that tunnel, around the solar eclipse, darling dears. And it's a big time to cover up things, especially as the lunar eclipse kicks off tonight, darling dears. And then we have the solar eclipse in Aries, kicking off on the 8th of April, creating an X over the USA. Yes, baby. Mm-hmm. There's a lot going on, darling dears, and I can't, uh, listen, you are free to believe whatever you want to believe, but I know what my cards told me, darling dears. Maybe they're gearing up to, to finally release and say that she didn't make it. I don't know what's going on in that house. Yes, I can pull another card on it. But you know what? I'm going to let them tell on themselves, darling dears. Let me tell you something. When you try to keep things in the dark, they will come to light. One way or the other. Because it seems strange, darling dears. It's strange. It's very strange. Why didn't she just come out and tell us from the outset, darling dears? Because... Charles told us what was going on. Which man wants to tell you that he's got, got the big C up there bomb? None of them. None of them. But he came through and said that. Right? Now they're telling us there's pictures of the queen with all of her grandchildren. That's been doctored. Listen, they're playing in our face, blood. They're bending over and busting it wide for us, blood. Why? We are the common public and we must believe what they say. I think, right, one of my theories is it had something to do with that Kingston guy. This is allegedly, I think they got into a big fight. I think that Kate may have been involved with that man. I think when that, that, that ambulance left the palace, Kensington Palace on the 28th, right? I believe that Kate got shot in the stomach. This is what I believe the surgery was. Listen, you can, you can tell me off. You can put all your badness in the arm, in the comments, because let me tell you something. Nobody better than me. I told you, I come from Jamaican, Jamaican par parentage, and my lexicon is strong, and it can go on. But I'm not going to tongue wrestle with you. I'll be what? Instant block and delete. I'm entitled to my opinion, right? Everyone's got an opinion. Some are more loose and flatulent than others, darling dears. You don't have to take it. But it, it's just so strange. 
It's strange, darling. Didn't you think so? Let me see what you're saying in the comments. Oh, I didn't even bring up the thing. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can get it to come up on the tablet. Yeah, Voyager 2 is saying exactly. The ex over the USA got me. Think, yes, BAB. You've got to think. Right? And the town that it actually goes across, it, I think I've forgotten. It begins with M. I had everything written. It's in, it doesn't matter because I had a lot going on. The town that it crosses over has only got, what, 500 occupants, darling, dears. Not only that, the, the trajectory of the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse, there's been nothing but minor earthquakes leading up to that X marks the spot, darling, dears. This is the age of Aquarius. I already told you guys in the Mercury retrograde reading, I did, darling, dears. Mm-hmm. Last year, last year for December, that went through to January. It was from, um, I think it went from Capric Sagittarius, Capricorn to Sagittarius. I said that there was going to be issues with the royal family. This is why I keep, this is why I put all of that astrology stuff out there, darling dears. I told you when big cats got your back, I cover your back, front and side, darling dears. But it's for you to what? I will put the, I will put the breadcrumbs there, but it's for you to pick it up. Hello, Donna Adams, big cat wave. Mm hmm. I told you the one upper one percent. There's going to be a lot of issues. What happened? P D D got exposed. They're still being exposed, darling. We ain't seen nothing yet. Why? Because Pluto is about to what? Shimmy back into Capricorn between September and November, darling. There's you ain't seen nothing yet. But the royal family is going to make a big announcement. It's going to come out between the eighth and the twentieth of April. Trust and believe, darling. There's trust and believe. Anyway, let's carry on with the read. Let's press on, darling. There's a hot trot. Hold on, let me see. Who's, let me just have a quick roll call. Ah, oh, Malibu, big cat wave. Donnie Renee, I see you. Who's that toning star? New face in this place. Yes, we're live, darling. There's Alexis Holmes. Wagwan. Fist bump. There's who? Vibrant Thang. Yes, baby, Monsieur. Mm-hmm. Am I going to press on? Am I going to press on? I'm going to press on. And Little Feather, I see you, darling dears. I see you. Big cat, wave all the way from Michigan, don't you know? I've got posh friends in high places, darling dears. And there's cats all over the world, darling dears. And we're linking up. Mm -hmm. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. See what comes out. Because there is no rest for the wicked, darling dears. They're always up to something. But they don't realize. Proverbs 22, 8. When you sow injustice, you must expect to reap calamity as Father God sits high and looks low. I don't believe that video that I saw. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody's trying to shame people that said things on their platform. Listen, I ain't taking nothing back. My cards told me this twice. Not once. Twice. And one of them jumped out, darling dears. That was a first. Mm-hmm. Look, look. I can't make this up. I'm going to bring the one back in, darling dears. The one speaks about what? Something major being spoken after the next new moon. A major decision. Didn't I just say somewhere between the new moon is going to be on the 8th of April, darling dears. And I said between the new moon and the, um, the 20th of April, they're going to make some major announcement. And and look how the dice jumped out of the tray to let us know we're on the right. We're up. Listen, we're on to the mate. Hmm. All right. Now here's something else I want you to drop. Where's my shiznai? Here it is. Look, darling dears. This is um Chinese numerology. This is a low shoe grid, darling dears. The big cat with the back turned as land on the five. What's the five? Health and well-being. Was we not just talking about Casey's health? Case. Kate, listen, don't talk about me. Listen, Freudian slip, there's nothing wrong with me, right? Ancestors, somebody's trying to put a guzum on me. No, I'm blood, not having it. Where's my bell? Mm -mm. Somebody don't want me to talk, eh? And I'm a chatty cat. Return to sender. I lock and bind whatever darkness has been sent my way. I lock and bind it and release it with love and light to the most high. Why? Because I don't play spiritual ping pong. I learned my lesson. I ain't locking and binding and leaving that shit with me. Listen, like I said, something about Kate's health, they're not telling us, darling dears. Yes, proper shady. They want us to what? Shut up. Mm -hmm. The energy of the five also speaks about, according to Chinese numerology, it's about mental health, darling dears, being the wealth. It's also what? The element of earth, 
and it's supported by fire energy okay so earth is about something tangible and fire energy is something spiritual they're gonna have to come through and tell us some kind of truth i told you i'm trying to get away from that but yet the dice and everything is telling us confirming that they're going to make a bigger announcement between the 8th of april and the 20th of april mark that on your almanac mm-hmm don't play with me this is what listen okay all right let me stop it because i listen there's no one to check me with and you know me once it once once they, they it's like they've stepped on my corn toe right my big corn mm -hmm. and you know when someone step on your corn toe you talk about it for air you remember the pain what you was wearing where you was all of this and that darling dears we have the energy of a three so your birthday could be or, or may not be it could be the third the twelfth the 21st or the 30th the number three is represented by the letters c l and u it speaks about you being a creator darling is extremely creative a motivator mm -hmm. the number three is ruled by jupiter the planet of expansion darling is growth it's also what higher knowledge higher learning maybe you are into higher learning jupiter comes through with the c g l s so we have c l u and c g l s your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be three, six, and nine. Your luckiest days will be Thursday and Sunday. The numbers for you to avoid would be um, the four, seven, and eight, yeah? Um, according to astrology, the number three is ruled by a trine. So it speaks about some kind of opportunity that you've created, darling, dears, or are creating, which is going to be based off of your natural talents. You're going to open up new doorways, new avenues, something major coming towards you, darling, dears. Um, we, with the energy of the five, as I said, it's about your mental health. Maybe you've been racking your brains, trying to get a breakthrough or a sign. Well, guess what? Here's your sign. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, let's press on. Right. Let's get the energy of the three, the Jupiter energy, so we can remind us that this is about growth. This is about higher learning. It's also about travel. It's about foreign people and foreign places. Maybe you are traveling, darling dears, or thinking to relocate. Do it, darling dears, but don't relocate to the US of A, especially not on the trajectory of the ex-blood, because I, I will surely miss you, bestie. I will miss you. Yes, if you're going there, I'm going to miss you. And if you're in the US of A now, I will tell you to move from that area. Go away for a few days or a week or two. Go on there, rent an Airbnb. Don't be along that path. Listen, listen, I don't like to call badness. Listen, I don't like to call badness on people, but I read astrology charts, darling dears. Mm -hmm. I read the charts. I've read hundreds, if not a thousand charts, darling dears. I've even discovered illnesses on throughout through the tarot. You think I'm joking? Hold on a minute. I want to show you. Because I told you, I'm the post-it note queen. Because I've done so many readings, people ask me about, I'm not a medical professional, darling dears, and I put it together. I know you're screenshotting. I'm going to shake it so you can't copy it. <laughs> Ucha, okay. Yeah, I've done it through the tarot so I can deter... Listen, I, listen, I pulled many a card. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I digress, darling dears. Jupiter is on the energy of seven. The seven speaks about you being in genius boss mode, darling dears. It also speaks about um, you've healed, darling dears. This is what has, has what? Given you a transformation in your life. You healed because of what? Forgiveness. But you are being called to be diplomatic, darling dears. Why? Because wisdom is for the wise. Mm -hmm. The energy of Jupiter it also speaks about the sudden change in the situation. Even though... Um, Jupiter rules Sagittarius, darling dears. It, the lightning is telling me something is going to strike, something unexpected, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is about how you express yourself, darling dears. And I told you, op you're creating some kind of opportunity from your natural talents, how you express yourself, how you communicate. It's artistry in motion. Mm hmm. Expect yourself to be more social over the next seven days, darling dears. But it's all because of the talents that you have. And the solution to everything in every situation is patience. Have patience with yourself, especially if you're working towards a goal. All right. We have the energy of 44 in the chat, darling dears. Master healers have turned up. Listen, I, could, I can't make it up. Mm -hmm. 
Let's, what's that at the bottom of my, I don't even know what that is and I'm afraid to touch it in case it take everything off the screen because you know the devil is a liar and we are in what? The pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde in Aries. I've already put up that reading. Go and watch it for your sun, moon and rising sign. I leave you so many, so many peccadillos, darling dears. Listen, I could, I could explain everything to you, break down all of these charts, give you the pinpoint, but I would rather teach you how to fish than keep fishing for you. That's my, that is my role to teach you where to look so you can go and find it out for yourself, blood. Don't take me as my word. Don't believe nothing. Don't believe nothing I say, but investigate, become that keyboard gangster. Why? Because knowledge is power and knowledge applied makes you a what? A big cat who, who is what? Not dealing with the dummy bats, darling dears. Fist bump. All right, let's press on. Let's get the oracle answer. Listen, I don't like people to hoodwink me, yeah? Play in my face. Mm -hmm. The energy of the three is represented by the Empress, the Hangman, and the World card. Empress is about your, your growth, darling. Yes, it's also about abundance. Mm -hmm. You may even be a mother or father. The Hangman is the new perspective you see, darling. Yes, the World card, because you've cut something out. It could also represent what somebody's on the fence about whether they've got the money to do some form of travel. Let me tell you something. When it's part of the Divine's plan, darling, yes, that money will turn up. It will turn up. Right, what did I just say? Didn't I just call it on the 44? You're a natural born healer, bestie. You just have to know your worth and add tax. You may be in the medical profession, darling dears. Or maybe people are seeing you as an earth angel. Why? Because you come with you come with it. You back up everything you say. Can you hear me clearly? I'm testing out this new mic. Give me a quick cat cat. V V L V L R A Fist Bump. Are you good? Are you fabulous? Mm-hmm yeah you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others and you have to share your gift you have to because you never know you could have you could have come here as a volunteer just to help one big cat darling dears it's not like you've got to change the trajectory of the world right we all have our own assignments but if it's that one person you're meant to, meant to help you're meant to what go out there with your skills you've got to be more social i know bestie I know. I like to be an introvert, right? But I prefer, I'm more like an ambivert. I'll come out, I'll be social, but if I get there, I don't care if it, I did my makeup for an hour. I don't care if I, the outfit that I wore, I can't re-wear it for another three years, darling, just because I don't like to be seen in the same shiz naive. I don't care. If I get there and I don't like the energy, right, I'm gone. This is why the charity is called the Chariot of Righteousness. It takes me where I'm supposed to feel righteous. And if I don't feel righteous in that atmosphere, you must be joking. I'm not going to sit there as a hioka, a high priestess hioka, and soak up all of them energies, blood. I don't want to be shadow boxing in my bed at night time. Mm -hmm. Freedom, darling dears. And what's that peeping out? Infinite abundance. Something that you are going to put together. Maybe you are a healer. Maybe you want to go online, darling dears. Maybe you want to start your YouTube. Do it, darling dears. It's going to create a lot of what? Um, generational wealth. Infinite abundance. Abundance comes in many forms, darling dears. You may have to get this platform in order to call in your true soul tribe to find your true friends. Loyalty, darling dears. The dolphin is purported to be the most smartest animal on this planet. Listen. If we, if the dolphins could talk, we'd really know what the history of this Malkuth was, darling dears. They've always been around. Mm -hmm. And the whales, because the whales, um, they've got, they, when you open up a whale, they've got feet in there, darling dears. They evolve so much that they no longer walk on the ground. Listen, we need to talk to the fishes. Some people need to be swimming with the fishes, but I'm not putting it on anyone, right? <laughs> You're free to do what you choose, darling dears, this is why you must choose wisely. Five and six in the chat, that's an 11. That's a master number. Mm -hmm. You are a master healer, darling dears, and you were sent to bring the light. What did I just say? You are here to teach. It also speaks about the 11. 11 speaks about you having to overcome many challenges in your life to get where, exactly where you are right now. But this is what I'm telling you, darling dears. You're getting a lot of brain fog because you are getting a spiritual upgrade. Some of you are going to realize that certain things that used to hold you before, it's not holding you. You can't drink the alcohol. You can't smoke the Bob Marley's. You can't smoke the cigarettes. You can't, do you understand what I'm saying? Energy, things that you was doing before to help make yourself 
Hey, Jeanette Wagwan, coming in from Canada, you know. I've got posh people in posh places. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, things that you was able to do before, you can't do it. Why? We are at the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, darling dears. It's the house of contractual partnerships, darling dears. You are letting go things that you was contracted to. Why? It was part of this 11 for you to overcome. You had to overcome it. And it's about the spiritual ascension of it all. So if you are being feeling guided to what puts something down, you'll find between now and the um, new moon new moon solar eclipse in Aries, darling dears, you will find that you will have the strength not to turn back and pick it back up again. I'm telling you, because the lunar eclipse is to release. And because this is a once in a lifetime thing, darling dears, because of the X that's going to be over the USA, there's people planning to go and watch the solar eclipse, blood, and they're taking their, they're taking their progenies with them. I was like, rah. I was on TikTok, people planning to go, listen, I said, eee. And, and, and then the government's telling you that it'll be okay, you can watch it, it's not a problem. Eee! Anything they tell me, I do the opposite, mate. Mm -hmm. But then again, every everybody's, why, what's that, Donnie Renee? The schools are going to be closed in your city. What on the on the solar eclipse? They're closing the solar. They're closing the school so that the progeny will be there to witness what's going on. I'm not even going to watch it on the telly, darling dears. Just like um, when it was um, Obama. I know everybody loves Obama. I've got no problem with the bread. I, I've got no problem with him. But there's something told me not to watch his his. Was it the inauguration speech? Up to this day, I've never watched it. My spirit just told me not to watch it. I I didn't watch it. Base of the deck, darling dears. I was too busy, right? As as you must be, darling dears. Being learned, learning new things. I told you, knowledge is power. And, and what knowledge applied is what the big cat is all about, darling dears. Some of you are writers and some of you are going to be taking up old things. Old things that you was once studying. Because sometimes, just like when I started doing tarot, this is like over 20 years ago. But I didn't get well serious with it until about five, maybe six years ago. The tarot, the astrology, the numerology, because I, when I first picked it up and, and, I, and I saw all of the numbers and the, I was like, oh my God, this is too much. But when I picked it up again, I picked it up with a higher mind. Do you understand what I'm saying? You may have put something down, darling, yes, but divine is telling you to pick that back up again because you're looking at it with different eyes. You've already absorbed the knowledge and you will have a better understanding of it. Now is time to strike while the iron is hot. Why? Because the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, darling, dears, releasing the old for the new to come through. Mm -hmm. And it's also Libra is the house of partnerships. So you must expect some kind of visitation from someone from the past, darling, dears. Either a text message, an email, or may, they may have the effrontery to come and knock on your door, blood. Listen. Hey, hey. Oi. That, listen, somebody tell them, don't knock on my door if you know where I live, blood. It's the Bermuda Triangle for you, yeah? It is. Anyhow, let's carry on, darling dears. Let's carry on. So infinite abundance, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Somebody's also looking at healthier living. Look how it jumps right. Everything's just jumping out. We've got the moon energy, darling dears. What's that, the fakeazoid friends? What did I tell you? Not everyone that presents at this moment in time to you, darling dears, is a friend. This person is what? A back front neck tabber, darling dears. Or shall I say, if it's a family member, they're a front tabber right but they're not holding on the back and the neck darling dears mm -hmm. someone is coming to present themselves darling dears but the moon energy is what fucking is darling dears they're coming with an what's this to gain some kind of knowledge over you darling dear yeah didn't we just talk call the empress it could be a mother energy or someone who had authority in your life or it's because you are better than the rest Maybe you've bossed up on them, darling dear. They're coming to tell you lies. And the card said it's a bait and a trap. Mm -hmm. That's what my young... I, I know. I, that's what my youngest daughter told me when her dad was sending me a message. He'd be sending me a message for nearly five bomba ass clark years like he could call me back. You must be joking. He wants me in prison with R. Kelly. Ha, ha, ha. Who's going to watch the progeny, blood? <laughs> she told me to tell me to mention and, and in the same breath she goes mommy mommy it's a trap mm -hmm. a trap they ain't trapping me mate you must be joking what's this 
sacral chakra in the reverse. So this is somebody who wants to attack your, your confidence, your physical well-being, darling dears. Your sacral chakra is also located around your genitalia, darling dears. This is water energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They want to take your, your balance. They want you to block your to block your creativities, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They want you to feel self-conscious. Somebody wants to come around you, darling dears, to rob, steal and brown bread. Mm -hmm. To plunder, pillage and loot you. Between now <laughs> and the new moon, I told you. And when we see the energy of the one, darling, is you have to make a major decision. And divine is cautioning you not to make that major decision until the next new moon, which I've just discussed is the new moon solar eclipse in Aries on the 8th of April, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's travel, long distance travel, darling, dears. Maybe divine wants you to hold it at this moment in time because he wants to what? Gift you with the Skrillas dot com darling dears gift you with the idea or maybe the traveler companions that you actually have are the devil's most diligent workers remember never you ever forget shankrilla what shank i can't even say it now is it shankrilla robinson listen i told you mercury retrograde always f's with my tongue and i keep saying it and i know it's how i'm affirming it to myself and in the same time i'm affirming it to myself i'm trying to stop myself but i can't because it happens every time it is what it is Let's carry on, darling, dears, and get a deck. We're going to read on these cards, the moon energy. Somebody wants to hoodwink a big cat, eh? Sun card. <laughs> Listen. The past, it's someone from your past. The sun card represents the past behind you like a ponytail. This is what the brick wall is. It also speaks about somebody who may be traveling towards you. Because as I said, the travel may not be just you. It could be someone trying to travel towards you. Sun energy in the upright. Um somebody's just had a baby or maybe they want to come through and congratulate you on your baby listen don't let them touch your child don't let them kiss your child matter of fact don't let them near because if they was already at, why would you want a bad-minded person to come and touch your newborn precious baby i don't even want them to touch my progenies and my progenies are 20 how old are they 26 20 and 14 yes baby they're all six years apart and it's six 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 don't judge me blood i didn't make it up like that it just happened don't pick on me babe don't <laughs> so somebody wants to come and lie i want to come tell you something moon energy could also speak about um someone who is on a on a self-destructive path darling can you see what's going on there tell us about the moon energy darling dears tell us because we're waiting right oh what did i say darling dears they're coming to get some take your energy Getting, trying to get some information. This person, if they hurt you or people that hurt you in the past, they're not going to be taking any form of accountability, right? You must what? Suck it up, darling dears, and accept them back into your life so they can do it again. Mm -hmm. Remember the last time it felt like you'd been run over, darling dears. Then they backed it up, picked up your heart, rubbed it down with a cheese grater, and then put it through the meat grinder. Do you remember, bestie? <laughs> Yes. Let's give us a hot minute for what they done did in the past. Hey. You better get Mission Impossible on them, darling dears. This is a group of people. They're trying to get somebody to be the bravest to approach you, darling dears. Maybe it's through sending a message. Mm -hmm. Listen. <laughs> Bestie, I've told you many times, you can do exactly what you want to do. But I will still, as your bestie, tell you to what? Think like a gangster and move like a nun. Why now? This person is coming towards you with Dutch courage from other feeble-minded darling dears. Mm -hmm. Simpletons that think they can just crook their finger and you'll be back for some more of their wickedness, right? They want to end the isolation, darling dears. These personal people are feeling extremely paranoid at this moment in time, right? They're very defensive, darling dears. So therefore, they're not going to explain or, or apologize for anything they done did to you in the past. Mm-hmm. Face of the deck, darling dears. Yes, baby, because they're attracted to what you've got going on. You've got the caduceus. Bestie, when we see the caduceus, the caduceus is, could also represent health because that's a sign of health, isn't it, darling dears? Mm-hmm. They may have a health issue why they want you to come on board, darling dears, or they may use someone else's health issue around them. Yeah, hold on a minute. Moon energy could also represent someone that's, yeah, it's someone that's past, darling dears. Someone that's past. Tower moment. 
Yeah, they need to get a shock when they come to you, darling dears, because God is telling you not to be involved with this person or people. The Hierophant is represented by um, the second house, the house of what your values, how you earn your Skrilla. Maybe they want to come and get some of your money. Maybe they've been watching you as, the, as only a mouth breather can, darling dears. As only a mouth breather can. Mm -hmm. God is telling you, no, uh-uh. You, you remain isolated, yeah? You already got the intel on this person or people. We've got two nines on the tableau, darling dears. Two nines speaks about whatever they done did to you. Mark it up as a minor game. Why? Because you've got the wisdom. The, the, um, the hermit speaks about self-introspection, self-examination, necessary removal from a group of people, a horde, a gang. Mm -hmm. But they're going to try and invite you back into that situation. They want to find out something on you, darling dears, because knowledge is power. They think they can take you down with your own intel. Imagine that. Oh, let me drink my, my posh water because I'm highfalutin. Pinkies up. I've got the sparkling water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the, yesterday, I was out with the progeny. I was big pimping in Costco. This is the first time I've ever told you where I was. I was big pimping in Costco and they do this really nice cherry ice cream. It's a gelato. They don't sell it so you can get a whole big tub and mind your own business. You've got to buy a little cup. So I bought it and this lady, everybody was waiting for their food so long. And this lady came to get her pizza. And the way she spoke to that girl behind the desk. The way she, listen, it was, and, and, then, and then she thought she'd gotten away with it. Listen, I said, don't fucking talk to her like that. She was like, woman, what, what? I said, don't talk to her like that. Just because she can't answer you don't mean I can't answer you, right? And because my progeny knows that I was getting mad, Karma stepped back with her right foot getting into a kickboxing pose and O'Shea just started muscling up his shoulders. Listen, I was ready to rumble for this. Some people are so disrespectful. This is why you have to judge people how they treat people that, that mean nothing to them, that can't do nothing for them, darling dears. You have to look at that. I don't like them behaviors. She weren't expecting that she had to go about her business, blood. She had to. All right. Knowledge is power. Tell them nothing, darling dears. They're coming in to be a di in the upright. This is a distraction. This is somebody who's coming in to try and be emo emotionally manipulative. And they are not a king. They are not the hierophant. They are not a queen. They're a knight in the reverse, darling dears. Knight of Cups, as I said, is somebody who is extremely, extremely emotionally manipulative, darling dears. Mm hmm. Unimaginative, darling dear. So they're gonna what they're gonna come through, they're gonna come through something weak, something that has no no um substance, darling dears, but it's to get your attention. Mm -hmm. The cups is in reverse is also what lies, darling dears. This is a lying lie, an airbender. They're coming to find out, they want to find out something about you, darling. Listen. They want to know what's in your wallet. They ain't got no money. This is karmic debt, darling. This, this is a high commanded Decepticon. This is somebody who's got mental health. Didn't we just talk about the mental health issues? Anybody can have mental health issues, right? But if I've already crossed your, you off my list, why? Because you come with espionage. And what fucker is, darling? There's fucker is, right? <laughs> You're not going to get another chance. No. Fiddle dee dee, you can't catch me. I've been full on tinky winky. You can't, you know, you know, like when you see Homer Simpson and he goes back behind the bushes and the tree looks like, nope. I'll be there watching you, mate, but you won't see me. Someone who is not doing very well, darling, is they could have lost their home or been a difficult situation with their health. I told you the mental health ain't right, darling, dears. They're coming to lie to you, to bait and trap you, darling, dears, because you are the baddest of them all, darling, dears. The moon energy could also speak about your psychic abilities being off the chain, the chizayin. Listen to your intuition and your discernment. You've already created freedom for, your, freedom for yourself, darling, dears, and freedom in itself, away from the toxic and the toxicity, is abundance. Because you've got peace of mind. I told you they want to come through and work on your self-confidence, darling dears. Mm -hmm. What did I say? They're coming, to, they're coming with the drama, blood. Anytime you see the strength card on its forehead, darling dears, they're coming with the drama. Yeah. 
they're coming to mess up or get in the way like i said they want to take some of your information they want to bring it back to the horde the village of idiots darling dears because they've not heard nothing from you right listen eight of wands on its face this is two eights on the tableau darling dears lean in bestie lean in this also speaks about somebody regrets if this was a partner your partner darling dears they regret having affairs on you. They regret what? Being the emperor in the new clothes. You know the ones that they thought they thought they was they was killing it in them streets until they met another narcissist like them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They was. Wee willy winky until you said no more. Anyhow, yeah. They definitely want to come back with some kind of drama. If this is a past person, darling dears, they're coming to lie straight off the bat. But they want to see how your head is, whether you'll be in acceptance mode. I accept no one from the past, darling dears. I told you, my, my progeny can barely get back in the house. They have to show me birthmarks, blood. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. All three of them got birthmarks, right? They have to show me that shit. Because mm -hmm. if you don't walk with your donkey, obviously you want to be treated like a stranger. So I have to treat you like a stranger. Mm -hmm. You better start showing me body parts, blood. Put them close up to the camera. They're lucky that it didn't go on any body part that is, is going to be what? Listen, I don't want to see that shit. There's some things that you don't need to see on your progeny after they reach the age of four. Yeah. Anyhow, like I said, they're coming to, it's a bait and a trap. And they're coming to work on your self-confidence. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's move forward, darling dears. Let's move forward. Right. The bait and the trap. The old switcheroo. Let's see. <laughs> I love it when people think they can play with the big cat. Don't you, bestie? <laughs> That's what? Ideas of grandiose. That's a sign of madness, darling dears. And you know they're going to come through with no certificate from a psychologist, a psychiatrist, or an exorcist. Yes, yes, yes. They want to bait and trap you, darling dears. Okay. My, I'll never forget karma. Mummy, it's a trap. <laughs> yes. They're going to probably try and ask you to come out for a drink, darling dears, to come and celebrate, to come and try and hang out with them. I ain't going... What's that? What's that? What's that? Roll hip, no? And, that, and they're putting that other thing, that other F1, that killed... Listen, they F you up with a drink, blood. Moon energy. Listen, I can't make it up. <laughs> They're coming to F you up. And then I'll have to come to your funeral, darling dears. I will be the one that will be the baddest dressed one out there. Why? Because I'm Taurus rising. I will have on a new melted lace front. And I will march all the way up to the front with the whole church watching. And I will grab you by your, your lapels, darling dears. And I'll give you a backhander in your coffin. Because I told you, they're coming to F you up with the food and the drink. I did tell you. I will shake your corpse around, darling dears. I will. And I won't be sorry. They'll have to drag me away. I can see myself being pulled away. My hat coming off. I might even lose a shoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, I will come and assault your, your, your corpse. Because I told you not to go. The cards told you, bestie. Yeah, be careful of the food and drink around them. What did I say? They have no good intention for you. Pentacallis also represents your health as well as theirs. Big time. They want you out for the count, darling dears. Be very careful. Mm -hmm. I can't make it up. The swords can represent poisoning. It could also speak about a physical attack, darling dears. It definitely speaks about the negative cycles of words that's being sent at your way, darling dears. Just listen, nobody that, you know who misses you the most? The one that did you the worst, darling dears. Why? They thought they could find another you to do the same to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of talk, darling dears. There's a lot of talk. People are nervous. They're nervous. And they're what opportunists, darling dears? Then they're broke and they're a page. Pwah! You know how I feel about pages if they're not your progeny. Listen, you got bigger things to get in on with, yeah? Whatever that is, don't tell anyone, bestie. Keep it to yourself because you will reap the benefits of your hard work. You're getting the pentacles in the upright, I might add. Mm-hmm. You're about to reap something, darling. As I told you, abundance. If you're looking for long and um, long distance travel, or it may be in pronto travel, maybe you don't have the skill of now, but you will get it between now and um, the eight, the twentieth of April. Yeah, 
Leave them where they are, darling. It could be a family member that's coming back. This is people that are not in emotional alignment. And it's also speaking about the emotional manipulation of it all. Don't let no one guilt you back into a situation you've already freed yourself from. Mm. What about these lies? Look what's underneath that. I didn't even, I just, I just peeped that. Envy, jealousy and hate, darling. Yes, that's what's fueling the lies, eh? Coming from unhappy people, darling, there's sun energy. And you know this, nine of swords in the reverse, people that are unhappy. Yeah, because they did not expect you to stand back up again, darling, dears. They wounded you. They tried to spiritually wound you, darling, dears. They tried to make sure that you had no standing in life. But when God say yes, who can say no? This is about you being able to manage all of your finances. When you see the sea choppy at the back, darling, dears, there's a lot of heavy emotions, a lot of negative emotions. Yeah, mm-hmm. This may, oh, I've just noticed there's two ships. I've never noticed that before. This may be the second time they've tried to make contact with you, darling, dears. God said, loud them. Whoever it is, when they come through, you better make sure that you you find more than the two middle fingers that you got. Lend two more fingers from someone else, darling, dears. And then do the Homer Simpsons. Nope. And disappear back into whatever it is you're going to disappear back into. This is somebody... Who's seen you be a wise teacher, darling? Just maybe you are teaching others or you're in a teaching position. You could also speaking about the boss uppedness of you, darling, dears. Maybe you got a promotion. Maybe they're seeing that you the long levity of some you being in a position. Yeah, that's the truth confirmed by the two of cups, darling, dears. Whatever it is, they see you in a position of greatness, darling, dears. Because as I said, the higher front represents the second house, the second house of your income, how you make your money. And it also speaks about you making that money from your talents and skills. And did I not say at the top of the read that opportunities are opening for you with the energy of the three because of your talents and skills? Pay attention, bestie, because what you're seeking is seeking you, right? Listen, you mean to avoid the drama field, darling dears. They come to bring drama into your life, darling dears. Something that you may not get up again from. This also speaks about your mental health, darling dears. You have to put your mental health first. Nine of Pentacles is, is, a, is a group, darling dears. But there's going to be one that's braver than the rest. Mm -hmm. Thinks that they can come back with a, I don't know, a text message, um, an email. But you definitely expect contact darling dears expect contact from them those whose mental health is not good darling dears why because of this and because of, i didn't even see this card underneath because this is what you how you deal with them like it's a cold case that no one's opening again blood no one's checking for them people think that they can treat you anyhow and then come back when they feel like it i think not scotty i think not had to put my back into it mm -mm. But you definitely, again, I just noticed this card. There was something that you've been doing, darling. There's a project that you put down. It's time for you to take it back up. Why? Because your subconscious has already, what? Assimilated the information. When you look back at this project, darling, dears, you will be looking at it with learned eyes. This is why the owl is here. Remember, I told you that. You are being guided. Mm -hmm. What's this? What did I say? They didn't care about your feelings. If you was brown bird, they'd be happy, mate. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're coming back to get close enough to get an insurance policy on you, darling dears. Right? Listen, you better pay attention. This is divine intervention, blood. <laughs> Ooh, the, the Hierophant came out twice in the upright, and now you've got a card telling you, allow it. I don't care what they're coming offering you. How, how sorry they pretend to be, darling dears. A snake only sheds its skin to become a bigger snake. And as you saw by the, the, um, the display picture, you have to be careful whom you invite into your domicile. You will come up missing things. And I already told you, I'm very, very, I'm very, very um, defensive over my prefrontal cortex, right? Why? Because that's where my rational thinking is. I'm very, very careful with my hippocampus, right? Because that's where the trauma is stored. And that's what strength, darling, is. And, I, and you see my, my amygdala? Hey, my amygdala? Listen, I've only just gotten over the last PTSD, darling, is. It took a while. And you know how I got over it? 
by not running from the pain because your, your subconscious mind will throw up what you need to heal. You have to sit in that. And I don't mean sit in that and go for a drink or go for a smoke or do something. No, you got to sit in that pain. But while you're sitting in that pain, you have to keep repeating to yourself, I forgive myself for what I didn't know at that time. You've got to be, you've got to, you have to be stronger than the pain, darling, this, but you have to sit in it. And your subconscious mind, listen, the, you, you, you won't need no one else to torment you. Your subconscious mind will bring up the ones every single time when you should have realized it was what? A red flag. And you should have run away. Sit in that pain. Um, the full moon is tomorrow for you, darling, dears. It starts for me today because I'm in the UK, darling, dears. Right where Kate is. Well, listen, don't let me start talking about Kate again because they're going to try and attack me in the comments. Attack me if you want. I'll block everyone in your blows line. That's another Jamaican word you can use when you're angry. You're welcome, bestie. Fist bump. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They want to tap into whatever abundance you got, darling, dears. And that's facts. <laughs> Excuse me, Marcy will play. What's this? Listen, they ain't changed. They're still the same dummy bat who's a shepherd of the devil, darling dears. They haven't changed. There's nothing new about them, darling dears. Right? You already walked away from it all. Right? STD could be something kicking in their pantaloon like Jackie Chan, but STD also says, while you was there, they just saw you as something to do. They didn't think about your feelings. We already saw this. They didn't care about how they did you, darling dears. How they made you look amongst others when they were susuing behind your back. Listen, that's what Bob Marley told us. Your best friend can be your worst enemy. They will susu behind your back. Mm-hmm. I'm done here. We're done here. Let's get let's get a making magic oracle deck. Let's get one final card. This will be a sigil, darling dears. You can draw it or not draw it. Sleep with it for seven days, seven nights. Keep it on your person and burn it at the new moon. It's your choice. You don't have to do nothing. But me personally, bitch, I mean, I'm going to trace this out here. I'm going to sit down with my tongue sticking out the right side of my mouth, right, with my new set of pens. <laughs> because if the car said abundance, infinite abundance, and it's followed up with the prosperity... Pay attention, darling dears. Pay attention. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd Love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Hey, energies. Up, 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 big cat. Big cat waves. Until we meet again on these tarot streets, cat, 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 cat.